my name is Carolyn and I'm with the Teen Explainers group. Today I will be showing you how to create three of the main types of dinosaurs that roamed the earth way, way, way a long time ago, around 65 million years ago. I will be showing you how they looked with model magic clay, but I will link a recipe for you to create your own. So let's get started. The first type of dinosaur we will be recreating today is a ceratopsian. The horns and frills these dinos had set them apart from the rest. Paleontologists believe the purpose in having them was for protection and possibly attracting mates. We will start by making the body. It will be easiest to begin by rolling the clay into a circle. Using your pointer finger and thumb, you will lightly pinch the side so the clay will lengthen. To replicate their curved backs, using the same technique, you will pinch the ends of the clay while making sure to keep the surface of the body flat. Next, we need to create the tail of the dinosaur. Start by getting a new piece of clay. It should be smaller than the clay we use for the body. Roll it into a circle in between your palms or on the table. The same way as before, you should pinch it to lengthen it. You may stretch it to however long you would like the tail to be. Once you have made the tail to your liking, the next step is to attach it to the body. Pick the side of the body you want the tail to be on. The other side will be where the head, horns, and the frill is. On the side you picked, stick it on the end of the dinosaur's back. That's where the tail will start. You can blend the clay from the body with the tail so the body parts look more natural. We can't forget the dinosaur legs. Take a piece of clay and roll it out a little. Repeat three times. With the four legs you just made, stick two on the back of the dinosaur and two on the front of the dinosaur. It should now look something like this. For the head of the dinosaur, take another piece of clay and roll it into a ball. Pinch and curve the clay the same way as before. Now you can stick it at the front of the dinosaur and smooth it out. The next part is the horn that goes on the center of its face. Take a small piece of clay and roll it out a little on one side. On the side you have just rolled out, pinch the end so it is pointy. You can now stick the horn you just made on its face. Next is the two larger horns that go on its head. Take two pieces of clay. They should be slightly larger than that of the little horn. Repeat the steps you did to make the little horn. After you have made the horns, stick them on the top of its head. The last part to making this dinosaur is adding the frill. To make the frill, start with a circle and flatten it out. Split the circle in half. Take one half and stick it behind the two horns. You should now have your ceratopsian. The next type of dinosaur we will be making is the tyrannosaur. These guys were carnivores and their sharp teeth helped them eat the meat they needed. Start with a circle. Roll it out a bit and pinch the sides while keeping the surface flat. Now pinch the ends for a curved back. For the legs, take two pieces of clay and roll them out. Curve the ends of the clay in the same direction. You can scratch three marks on them for claws. Attach the non-curved sides to the bottom of the dinosaur. Next is the tail. Take a piece of clay and roll it out on one side. It should be somewhat long. Attach the bigger end of the clay to the back of the dinosaur so the rest of it is in the air. Now we need to make the neck. Take a piece of clay and roll it out so it is somewhat long. Attach one end at the front of the dinosaur. The last part is the head. Attach another piece of clay to the neck. Smooth it out and curve it downward. Make a little slit in the clay so you can see two halves. For teeth, you can make tiny slits along the edges of the halves. You can also take tiny pieces of clay and stick it on the edges. It should look something like this. 